What we have here is a moon snail on the prowl. It has a huge slimy foot that it uses to glide over the surface or plow through the muddy sand looking for food. These snails are predators, preferring bivalves such as that cockle shell that it seems to be heading towards. When the moon snail locates a suitable bivalve, it grabs the victim with its foot and starts drilling a hole in the shell with its toothy radula. After rasping the shell for a bit, the moon snail squirts fluid from a gland into the depression made by the teeth and the fluid mixes with seawater to form a weak acid to help soften the shell for more drilling with the teeth. Eventually, a hole is made in the shell. The snail extends its radula through the hole and starts chewing up the yummy bivalve. Successful drilling usually takes several hours depending on the thickness of the shell being drilled. At the head end of the snail, you can see two tentacles extending vertically. These are mostly used for touch and smell. There's a third tube sticking out on the left side, and this is a siphon for bringing fresh water over the gills for respiration. The last part of the video shows a moon snail among a bed of clam siphons of a species called a piddock, which drills down into the substrate with its roughened shell rather than using a foot like most other bivalves do to dig down beneath the surface.